Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's another beautiful morning here in North Las Vegas. August the 24th, Monday, Monday morning. That's right. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope everybody's doing good. It's going to be another warm one here today. About 106 for those that care. Uh, so, yeah, we're still a little, little hot here in Vegas. But hey, we have air conditioning. We're ready to go. We have Dollar Trees. As you can tell, we have a little Dollar Tree haul. I mean, it's been a good... It's good, been a good run for me as far as finding stuff uh, or finding stores that have the new stuff. But finding new stuff among that stuff is hard. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff that's just being recycled. Um, matter of fact, I looked in. I got to open actual boxes. I took the tape off, had the 21st date on the end of it. And probably 75% of that box I've seen in previous uh, Dollar Tree haul kind of things you know uh, so you know it is what it is I understand they probably got a heck of a lot of stuff they need to get rid of so without any further ado let's get into this let's see what the old geek picked up this time um, and let you know that it's out there you know it, it believe me this stuff is uh, is out there and most everybody that I've watched uh, we're seeing just about uh, I want to say uh, most everybody I've watched have seen basically the same things I'm seeing. So that's kind of a good thing, I guess. Normally, like the East Coast has a little bit different stuff than we see. And uh, so yeah, I'm glad to pick up some goodies. So here we go. Uh, first off, right off the top, I already have this one on uh, DVD, but I picked this up for a friend. And that is Conan O'Brien Can't Stop, 89 minutes long, 2011 R rated. Put out by Magnolia. This, of course, is a documentary, um, basically following Conan around backstage and showing what it's like uh, on a tour, I guess, as it were. So, yeah, he's out on a North American tour in this, and they're going backstage and uh, showing you the behind-the-scenes kind of look at uh, Conan's life. And it's not all peaches and cream; it really isn't. Um, but uh, I recommend this. I can recommend this for people that are into uh, uh, stand-up comics and what goes on behind the scenes. So I like it. It gets really pretty good reviews. And uh, so I picked up this up for a friend. All right. So where am I going to stack these? How about right back here. All right. Next up is... The Hitman Never Dies, 84 minutes long, not rated, 2017, crime comedy, put out by Echo Bridge this time around, and it has two bonus movies, Busted and Play Dead. Busted and Play Dead? I don't know much about this thing. Uh, something about a, a, the dude, uh, this guy here, extorts the mob, and then the mob coming after him, and... It's, it gets bad from there. What could go wrong, right? So this is, uh, like I said, not rated 2017. Retired thief Gus is called back into the game by his former boss, Don, who, conniving porn, who when conniving porn producer Stegman, uh, the problem is Stegman is already dead and a number of different assessments are in a race to find out the incriminating tapes. So he has tapes, he's dead. Where are they, right? So there you go. Let you see the back. Bonus movies there. Busted. Hookers. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So I, I don't know anything about these. If you've seen these, let me know. Is it any good? I, I picked it up because, you know, I like action stuff and uh, looked like it had a lot of action. <laughs> All right, something with Mini Driver in it and Meatloaf. Stage Fright. Stage Fright. I've seen this one before um, at a Dollar Tree, but the disc was all screwed up, so I didn't get it. So this time around, I picked it up. R-rated, 88 minutes, 2014. Kind of a comedy horror put out by Magnet. Of course, like I said, Mini Driver and Meatloaf. 
This takes place as a, at a musical camp, musical theater camp, I guess. A cross between Glee and Sleepaway Camp, stage fright is creepy and frequently quite gory. All right. So I, it looks really good. It gets really good reviews. Uh, so if you guys have seen this one, let me know. Did you like it? What do you think? Stage fright. Very good. I'm going to watch that one probably tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Get that out of the way. Next up, with a slippy dippy, is the Jurassic Dead, not rated 2018, 82 minutes long, put out by Wild Eye Releasing. This is about a Z-Rex. Do you know what a Z-Rex is? Yeah, that's the short term for a zombie dinosaur. Okay, so you got a dinosaur that's dead, killing people. Mm, okay, doesn't get great reviews. We'll check it out though. The only thing worse than a zombie is a zombie saurus. Uh, maybe it's so bad it's good. Uh, maybe I'm hoping that's kind of the the case here. Let me let you read. A unit of mercenaries must team up with a group of tech geek students after America is struck with an EMP attack. Deep in the desert, they find the source of the terror, a mad scientist who has also just created a living dead T-Rex dinosaur, one who turns everyone it attacks into a zombie. Now they must scramble to stay alive and save the planet from the ultimate undead predator. I mean, it sounds really good, doesn't it? Could it be that bad? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm into the Beatles. I don't know if you guys figured that out yet or not, but here's this. It's called Looking for Linen. 93 minutes long, not rated, 2018. It's put out by Echo Bridge. It's a documentary looking at Lennon's early life. Uh, for those of you that don't know, he had a rough early life. Um, yeah. Rough early life. It examines the hardships and misfortunes that shaped his personality and later informed his music, featuring rare and previously unseen memoirs as well as interviews with some of his closest family, friends, and associates. The film proves a deep, end of, proves a deep investigation into what made the man and provides insight into his complicated, troubled personality. Here's the back. Uh, actually, I started watching a little bit of this on Amazon yesterday. Um, it looks pretty good, so I'm going to check this one out on Blu-ray. Speaking of the Beatles, we have a Music Cares tribute to Paul McCartney. All right, 60 minutes long from 2012. This is a Shout Factory release. Amazing enough. Uh, so he was honored as Music Cares Man of the Year that year, and he performed a few songs, and a whole bunch of other folks performed his songs also. For example, Alicia Keys uh, did Blackbird, uh, Nora Jones did Oh Darling, Neil Young with Crazy Horse did I Saw Her Standing There, Sergio Mendez did The Fool on the Hill. Coldplay did We Can Work It Out. James Taylor and Diana Kroll did Yesterday. So, you know, some good names, doing some cool songs, honoring uh, Sir Paul. Blu-ray, I'm going to pick that one up. Looks good. Next up, this is in honor of Joe Martinez. That's right, I picked up some Christmas movie, movies, nine movie Christmas pack from 2016, 444 minutes, put out by Echo Bridge. This is not for me. I don't, generally I don't watch Christmas stuff unless it's got killing in it. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so this has the, the Great Rupert, Scrooge, A Christmas Tree Miracle, A Christmas Visit, Santa and the Three Bears, Santa Claus, The Little Christmas Burrow, The, Cr 
Christmas Visitor and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Basically, I got this for my grandkids so that they have something fun to watch. I have a couple of them that are kind of young. May enjoy this, so there you go. Joe and Marie, hey, it's the start of something, huh? <laughs> All right, next up, something called the Animated Collection. Ten movies. Looks like a bunch of kids' animated stuff. 2018 PG, 753 minutes worth, and it's put out by Echo Bridge. A whole bunch of animated stuff that I think, like I said, my younger grandkids will enjoy. My wife and the grandkids will enjoy. The Reef, Too High, Animals United, Thor, Adventure Planet, Dear Dracula, all right, that's cool, <laughs> Delhi Safari, Axel, Gulliver's Travels, Under Wraps, and A Monstrous Holiday. Yay! Something with a monster in it. What's the back? It's rated PG. Next up, one I have no idea what this is about, but it does have Deborah Kara Unger in it, Bruce Greenwood, something called Rehearsal Impact. Like I said, I know nothing about that. 96 minutes long, not rated. Put out by Echo Bridge. If you've seen it, I don't know what it, um, I don't. I don't think it's worth uh, much, but uh, we'll check it out. Faced with financial ruin, an aging theater director struggling to stay relevant must cast a young action movie star in his new play. When the director's theatrical nature clashes with the movie star's Hollywood attitude, they must figure out how to make this work because one way or another, the show must go on. And there are two bonus movies, King of California and Camouflage. I'm probably more interested in the King of California <laughs> than this uh, rehearsal impact. But if you've seen it, let me know. Is it a big old pile of doo-doo or no? Let me know. And we finally got some horror out of this bunch. I mean, yeah. Slippy Dippy, called The Ghost, The Ghost Beyond, I should say, 89 minutes long, not rated, 2018. It's basically about a possessed country home, aren't they all? <laughs> possessed country home. It gets bad when their, their son becomes, or starts to talk to this Possessed home, where it starts communicating with him, I guess. Here's the back. Uh, the two bon bonus, Beneath the Mississippi and Legacy of Evil. Let's just say, when a horror writer and his family inspect a centuries-old home, the real estate agent reveals that a little girl starve, starved there. The mother, a brilliant physician... Bothered by the spooky tale, but then her son has already seen something suspicious. Once they settle in, an evil presence begins to communicate with their son. All right. Sounds like something I would watch. Trevor Donovan, Veil Bloom. Next up, I used to love my kung fu movies. Anything with Bruce Lee in it, I'm going to watch. Bruce Lee, Action Pack, four movies. Echo Bridge. I say Echo Bay earlier. Echo Bridge. Jesus. <clears throat> this was put out in 2015. It's got Fist of Fear, Touch of Death. Bruce Lee fights back from the grave. Blind Fist of Bruce and the image of Bruce Lee. Here's the back. I have most of, or two of these films, two of, uh, and two I don't have, so that's why I got it. Next up, this intrigued the heck out of me, only because Jim, Henson, Jim Henson's Creature Shop presents Me She. The heck is Me She? 2006 PG, 94 minutes, and it's an adventure fantasy film put out by Echo Bridge. Gets great reviews. Is it the Loch Ness Monster? I don't know. If you guys have seen this, let me know if you liked it. 
I did watch a little bit of it uh, on Amazon, and uh, or no, I watched the trailer, and I thought it very interesting. So I can't wait to let the grandkids check this one out. It looks really pretty interesting. The world's most lovable monster is about to surface. I like it. I like it. Next night. Next up. Next night. What does that mean? Kavite. Not rated 2005. 80 minutes of thriller from Magnolia. This is a Filipino film. Filmed in the Philippines. Evidently this... Uh, Won a bunch of awards, a breathless juggler, thriller, returning to Cavite. That's the name of the city, I guess, in the Philippines. Returning to Cavite for his mother, father's funeral, Adam lands at the Manila airport expecting to meet his mother and sister. Instead, he is greeted by a disturbing cell phone call. An unknown voice demands that the, they comply with his instructions, which will force him to make a choice with life and death consequences carry out a terrorist mission resulting in the death of many, or send her kidna his kidnapped mother and sister to execution. Wow, what a choice, huh? What a choice. What do you do? We shall see. That one gets good reviews. So, I'm excited. Here we've got Croczilla. Used to be Walmart, evidently. Croczilla. 90 minutes long. PG-13 from 2012. Echo Bridge. 36 minutes, let's see, 30, what? 36 foot. Yeah, a 36 foot crocodile lives peacefully in a sanctuary in China until the day a gangster demands to, gangster demands to buy him for slaughter and sale to his restaurant business. Hmm. Plus, eight or seven other movies. There's the back. This one is uh, filmed in Japan, but it's a Chinese movie. Okay. Attack of the Giant Leeches. I've watched that. That's crazy. Piranha. Pretty good movie. The Giant Gila Monster. Creature. Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet. The Phantom from 10,000 Leagues. And The Killer Shrews are the bonus movies. Croczilla. Turn off your brain. Little creature feature happening. Have a good time. Looks like fun. All right. Next up, I saw other folks have getting this, uh, PMAC and uh, a few others, and I thought, man, I just can't find it. Finally, uh, yesterday I found it. There you go. Nightmare Fuel. 20 movie collection, 27 hours from Mill Creek. From 2016, this was put out in 2016, includes Abraxas, Guardian of the Universe, Bloody Pit of Horror, The Cocaine Fiends, Count Dracula and His Vampire Bride, Driller Killer, Drive-In Massacre, End of the World, The Firing Line, Hands of Steel, Hercules Against the Moon, Against the Moon Men, House on Haunted Hill, It Seemed Like a Good Idea at the Time, Laser Mission, The Hands of Fate, Morons <laughs> from Outer Space, Reefer Madness. If you haven't seen Reefer Madness, you guys ought to watch that. That's crazy. The Seniors, Silent Night, Bloody Night, Slipstream, and Warriors of the Waste. A lot of public domain kind of stuff. But I wanted that in my collection just because I'm crazy like that. Next up, another iteration of Frankenstein. 91 minutes long, 2007. Of course, a drama, sci-fi kind of thing. This was a t originally a TV movie with Helen McCroy, James Purefoy, and Neil Pearson. A gripping retelling of Mary Shelley's gothic masterpiece. This is uh, BBC. It's kind of set in the future. It's kind of it has a different take. It kind of uh, the dude's doing some DNA research, stem cell research, and is able to take a uh, some stem cells and create his own Frankenstein, as it were. Gets good reviews. Good reviews. Here's the back. See that? Ellen McCroy, 
stars alongside James Purifoy in this modern retelling of Mary Shelley's. Modern retelling, that's the key. Desperate to save her dying son, medical researcher Victoria Frankenstein secretly introduces his DNA into her maverick work to, on replacement body parts, inadvertently creating life itself. From a heartbeat in a tank full of gore grows a monstrous subhuman creature which challenges all of our assumptions about genetic research and the meaning of life in the 21st century. We're going to see some stuff like this, I'm afraid. Uh, maybe not afraid, but I think it's going to happen. I think we will see Frankensteins sometime in the future. Maybe not me, but you guys, younger folks, may see that. My prediction, the old geek prediction. Next up, I don't know anything about this one. It says, false flag, fight the tyranny. False flag, fight the tyranny. Not rated, 2018, 96 minutes. Put out by Red Eye. This one does not get great reviews. But uh, two estranged brothers are reconnected when an invading force takes over the small western town of Madison. They must band together with a group of locals, a journalist, and mercenaries to evade capture and uncover the truth about this mysterious military coup and the plans for the town and incarcerated townspeople. I hope we don't soon see that, too. There's the back. Doesn't get great reviews, but looked interesting, especially in these times, these crazy times. Next up, Good Neighbors, R-rated, 2010, 99 minutes drama thriller from Magnolia. I have seen this one. I liked it. Uh, it's a Canadian film about a serial killer loose in Montreal neighborhood. So it's about a, just basically takes place in, a, in an apartment building. And this killer gets out there and takes care of business and what they have to do. It's, pretty, it's a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. And I have seen this one before. I just didn't pick it up, but this time I did. Bad Milo, R-rated, 2013, 84 minutes. It's like comedy horror. It gets so-so reviews. Uh, and of course, it's a you know B-movie with... Does B mean bad? Duncan's mounting stress starts to trigger an insufferable gastrointestinal reaction. Out of ideas, and at the end of his rope, Duncan seeks to help the help of a psychotherapist, hypnotherapist, who helps him discover the root of his unusual stomach pain, a pint-sized demon living in his intestine that, triggered by excessive anxiety, forces his way out and slaughters the people who have caused Duncan's stress. Hmm. You guys have seen that? Is it any good? Did you like it? Should we watch it? Let me know. Next up, something called Special Edition. Severance. Severance, R-rated, 96 minutes, 2006. A thriller, comedy, horror from Magnolia releasing. So this is about uh, basically about a group of folks that uh, go, go as that work together, they go out on a team building ex uh, adventure up in the mountains, and they meet up with some, you know, some killers, and how they deal with that situation. I have not watched it. Let me know if you've enjoyed this one. Bunch of crazed killers taking care of business. Next up, we call The Archer. The Archer. 87 minutes, not rated, 2017, a drama thriller from Echo Bridge. Basically, this chick here gets sent away to reform school. And uh, how she has to basically fight for her life. I've not watched it, just watched the trailer and thought it looked pretty good. So I'm going to check it out. If you have seen it, let me know. And there are, yeah, there's bonus movies, Taken in Broad Daylight and Headhunter, The Assessment Weekend. Read about those. Look good. Let me know. 
And last but not least on this Dollar Tree haul, I'm not going anymore. That's it for this round, guys. So until next time, this is it. It's called Dumbstruck. Mm -hmm. Dumbstruck. What is Dumbstruck, you say, geriatric? Well, it's actually about a whole bunch of uh, people that do uh, ventriloquism. And um, one of them is uh, Terry, uh, is right here in Vegas. Well, he's not here now, but he's made a heck of a name for himself here in Vegas. One America's Got Talent, and uh, uh, really, I enjoy anything with uh, puppets. And, you know, I used to enjoy watching with the kids the Muppets and all that. So, this is uh, an annual Vent Haven, Vent Haven Convention in Fort Mitchell, Kentucky. Ventriloquism, I didn't know that, Ventrilo Ventriloquism, Capital of the World, director Mark Goffman discovers five fascinating performers. Kim, beauty queen, Dan, a thriving cruise ship performer, Wilma, a former security guard, Dylan, an introverted 13-year-old, and Terry, who struggled for decades as a small-time performer before winning America's Got Talent. On his way to a $100 million contract to headline the Mirage Casino in Las Vegas. Dumbstruck is a humorous and heartfelt story that follows these performers across the United States, Mexican Riviera, Bahamas, and Japan as they pursue their dreams of a career in puppetry. I'm not sure, but I think old. Uh, Joe from Megapodtastic would probably enjoy that. I don't, I don't know if you've seen it or not. I don't. Anyway, check it out, Joe. You might like it. So that's it for the old geek here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That's right. Subscribe. Like I said, you guys have a good day. Have a good week. Uh, my next video is probably going to be Wednesday or Thursday. Depending upon uh, the postal service, whether I get what I I'm, I'm expecting to get, uh, I was hoping to get them much earlier than today, but uh, hopefully today. Anyway, that's it. You guys keep smiling, keep having fun. Until next time. Peace.